guys, it's me again. I want to film a really quick video because I have to run out in 10 minutes to go to the hairdresser. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to show you what I brought with me on my last two trips and because I just came back on Sunday from a short trip and I finally want to pack all my stuff away but first I wanted to show you so this was what I took with me for a week in Italy and also what I took with me last weekend just for a short visit at my parents house so this is an old clinic bag one of those freebie bags they try to put on everything <laughs> and everyone who don't move fast enough uh, I like it because it's it's big and pretty sturdy and I still have my hanging travel makeup bag which you have seen in another video of mine but for this trip this was perfect because it fitted perfectly in my suitcase so as for what's in here i hope it's still all in here because i also had to use something so i took some things out but i was very very good in putting it back what's not in here is my um, toothbrush toothpaste hairbrush shampoo conditioner uh, shower gel, uh, moisturizer, body moisturizer, because all of that um, I had it in a little extra pouch uh, and the hairbrush was big so I had it separately. Uh, I have two scrunchies in here, the Burberry one and just a small one I put under it. So just to start with that and get it out of the way, I have my favorite day moisturizer in here and I have also a uh, an eye cream which is empty now so um, I can give you a review on that and also compare it to the one I'm using now which is from Sylvan Glory and um, yeah I took the Dove deodorant with me which I hate <laughs> I like that one in spray form and so I didn't want to bring the huge spray thing with me so I bought this one it's a rollerball and it's terrible I don't like it but for traveling it's good and also I don't like this go fresh scent I like the one the green one I think it's cucumber uh, it smells like the Bath and Body Works cucumber melon thing so I like that one way better but the spray version not that one and um, so continuing on the topic of hygiene I have my floss and my eye makeup remover I took some makeup remover wipe, wipes 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 with me uh, and um, that's why there's no face wash in here and I have to say that it's not the perfect solution for me for when I'm away longer than two or three days because my skin was not too happy with it I mean I had some face wash as well with me for under the shower where we ended up having a really really bad shower so I didn't spend that much time under it which I normally would do so I had to use the facial makeup remover wipes facial wipes I don't know I can't speak today I just came home from work so I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa. totally crazy <laughs> so anyway I just can't use them constantly they just make my skin freak out I don't know so um, I have a night cream from Veleda because that one is a day cream with SPF so I prefer to have a night cream as well and um, I have the Shea lip butter from the body shop mm, which smells so good but I, you can't even see but I made quite a dent in this and I'm really proud because normally these body shop lip butters last I don't know years for me and then at some point I just throw them out because I can't see them anymore and yeah another thing I took is this one that's a tinted moisturizer and um, not really sure I just bought it shortly before going on the holiday so I wanted to try it out uh, I haven't really made up my mind on this because what else I used foundation wise is my uh, Mac Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in medium and the Body Shop Kabuki from the Natural Nat Nat Nature's Minerals collection. That is what I normally use day to day for my foundation. And then I have uh, the concealer as well, the Studio Finish Concealer. 
and some gosh long lasting eyebrow pencil which i really like my color is wheat which is like the blonde and it's not it's not red so that's that's what i like about it it's like really brown even though now probably it looks red but it doesn't have this really red undertone a lot of um, the eyebrow pencils have uh, speaking of eyes i brought the naked palette with me I think I didn't show you yet. I got it for Christmas and I really really like it a lot and I paid such a good price for that because it was on some promotion deal and I saw it now in Italy and it was like 10 euros more than what I paid for it so I'm really really happy. I love this this palette a lot. Uh, it's the one with the brush not the one with the um, Decay 24 hour pencil. And what I mean with red, by the way, is um, I can't use buck for my eyebrows because it's it's too reddish for my skin tone. Um, I use this a lot, even though you can't see a lot of use, but I just love it because I just take this and I'm set for all makeup looks I want to do. So that's really pretty. The only other thing I took with me is the color 24 hour to two. Um, from Maybelline and the color is 35 on and on bronze which I bought shortly before the holiday and I simply love it so I had a lot of nudish and brown and brown smoky looks going on and then I have this little case which is really nice it came with the brush I bought I think it was also from I bought it at Boots or something but now I use it to transport my brush and my one um, Glide on eye pencil from Urban Decay. This one is in the color Whiskey, so that's the brown. No, sorry, it's bourbon. Well, that's close. Whiskey, bourbon, so the color is called bourbon. And then I have these three uh, pencils, uh, brushes, I'm sorry, brushes which are dirty, unfortunately. I'm sorry, bear with me because I used them this morning. So that one is an e.l.f. concealer brush, a really short travel size version, very nice. Um, the next one is also from e.l.f. It's the blending eye brush, which I use. Surprise, surprise, for blending. And then I use that one, which is from number seven. It's the eyeshadow blend and contour brush. And this one I use for applying my shadow here. So I had the brush in here from Urban Decay from the palette. So I used that one to, to pack the color on the eye and the other one to apply the darker color in the outer V and then the small one for blending. So that's a really, really good kit I have there because with just these few things, so I have my little kit. It's very good for the brushes because they don't get all messed up in here. This and this, and then I have my eyeshadow base. I used the one from Art Deco. So I'm pretty much set for the eye makeup. Then the only thing I need is an eyelash curler and some mascara and this time I used the Clinique um, what's it called naturally glossy mascara in black which is a very 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 light mascara so it's it's really naturally glossy so it makes them really beautifully black but it doesn't clump it doesn't put any weird volume things on it so it's really really natural then I have some clips and some more hair ties and then one of those have you seen those that's a flexi 8 clip I'm also wearing one right now in my hair it's perfect for this quick little ponytail and then I have a small Burberry body perfume this is not the one I took with me for holidays but um, I really like to take sample size with me on holidays because it's not so bad and this time it was really perfect because I just finished there and threw it out and left it there I have my favorite travel blush with me. It's this Clinique um, sample they gave me in one of their bags once. It's the rosy blush and it's a blush by cream stick and I don't think they make it at the moment or anymore. It's a really nice rose. What did that say? Rosy blush, it's called number zero three. And I don't need a brush to apply it. So that's, that's why I take it all the time when I travel. And oh, I found another little perfume, the Body Shop White Musk. And then two lip gloss. One was the Berry M Limited Edition lip gloss in no color, sorry. And the other one is from Jouvert Cosmetics in the color P. 
P06. And I think I also had some um, lipstick, but I have it now in some bag wherever. I had one of the Jouvert lipsticks with me as well. And um, I always have one or two lipsticks in my handbag anyway, so I just use those and I'm making a lot of noise, right? <laughs> Throwing it all back in. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I took with me and it, it was really good for me. I don't tend to take tons of makeup with me. I tend to think a bit before what I want and now with the palette it's very easy with the eyeshadow but before I was thinking of one or two combinations which could work perfectly for the eyeshadow and also because I had to move three times in Italy so I didn't want to take a lot of stuff with me even though I had a big suitcase for clothes but that's another story and um, yeah so it was just packed so I took it again this weekend and it also worked perfectly for all different occasions like hanging around in the house versus really going out with some people so it was perfect for all of that and yeah that's basically with some small changes what I always take when I go traveling so I would love to see what you take when you're traveling so if you want leave some comments or a video response or if you want to see a review on any of those products I'd be happy to to film that for you and now I have to run and to make my appointment at the hairdresser so if you see me next time with pink hair no, just kidding. Bye.